Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here on YouTube. Before we get started, I just want to thank you all for the love and support. You guys liked the hell out of the last few videos, and my goodness, the amount of likes and subscribers that we have grown. Uh, man, I'm just so thankful for it all. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. 5-9-2021, a.m. Central Time, Nervous Network, CKB on the 4-hour chart. Let's go. Now, I've been kind of quiet the last couple days simply because I didn't think that by making another video, uh, I could tell you something different than I'd already told you in the last few videos about CKB. I saw this thing squeeze in a uh, symmetrical triangle yesterday. I knew exactly what was going to happen. Again, like I said, I think we may see this climb back down to around the, the 0 0.0205 level, 2.0215 level, somewhere in there. And I still think that's where we're heading. This is a very important trend line for CKB. If we break this trend line, we could be in trouble. For right now, let's try to get a bead on what's exactly going on or potentially going on with CKB. This is not financial or trading advice. I'm just some crazy guy on the internet, if you don't know already. Now, what I'm seeing here with this Fibonacci time zone is that it's fairly accurate. Pivot point here, pivot point here, pivot point here. I have no reason to believe that uh, we may not see the same occur later on here, May 11th, May 19th. So we have that going for us right now. Let's just run a little Fibonacci channel. Now, I'm just going to hypothetically assume that the leg here comes down and pivots on this Fibonacci time zone. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And I'm seeing something that I like right now. I'm going to zoom out. Can you guys tell me what it is that I'm seeing that I like? I am liking the heck out of this right now. But we can definitely see how, bear with me one second, we can definitely see how this golden ratio has appeared uh, right along with this high. Now that makes me extremely optimistic and I think CKB could finally be gearing up for another test of these levels. Bear with me one second. So. If I draw a horizontal line right here, we can definitely see what would be an ascending triangle. Now, watch CKB closely over the next few days, because if we see this thing pivot here, come back up, and if it breaks through this downward trend line, or what could happen is we could kind of come down, bounce, bounce, and maybe come down, bounce off this, and you know, this may kind of do one of these. Uh, either way, I think if we see CKB come down and bounce off that Fibonacci time zone on May 11th, 3 a.m. Central Time-ish, and we see one of these happen, uh, we are sitting very good. We are sitting very good in my opinion. I think we will be ready, getting ready to spring up to uh, possibly new all-time highs, uh, maybe price discovery. So what I want to illustrate for you is the fact that let's say we thought that this was the bottom. And let's just assume that we're not going to retest this bottom. For CKB to go from, you know, let's just call it a penny and a half, all the way up to almost four and a half pennies, that's a lot of money, a lot of pumping that needs to happen. But if this builds out in this ascending triangle, you can definitely see how easy it would be to retest this and not only retest it, maybe we might see it come up and, re and, and create a new all-time high around this eight cent region. This, that's just a very wild speculation. Again, I'm not financial or trading advice, I'm just some crazy guy on the internet that's trying to read charts with scientific methods. So as you guys can see, we still need to wait and watch CKB. I think by 
May 11th, 3 a.m. So I'm going to wake up like I normally do on May 11th and see if we bounced uh, off this Fibonacci time zone. And I'm hoping we do. And if that happens, folks, then we can kind of climb these channels uh, possibly and excuse me, bounce around until I'm assuming this Fibonacci time zone on June 1st would be my guess is that could be when we retest this new high or start the process to retest this new high. Who knows what's going to happen. Uh, but if CKB obeys this triangle here by not going over three cents and kind of bouncing off these Fibonacci time zones, as you can see, I have no reason to not believe that we will start ascending upwards. Especially if we get a Coinbase listing or something like that in there. I'm just throwing that out. That could alter this uh, fastly. And we might see CKB really start to run hard. So really, folks, I'm going to keep this short and simple today. Since I know you all want to be with your mothers. And we will revisit this tomorrow and see where CKB is at, where it's drifting to. I'm thinking, folks, we are going to kind of drift down towards this 0.02117 level, and we might start you know, a week-long ascent back up to the $0.03 cent level. So if that happens, we're sitting good. If it doesn't, uh, man, we're going to have to do another video and see what's going on with CKB. So I hope you guys all enjoyed your weekends, and I thank you again for watching. Thank you again for all the support. If you liked this TA, feel free to smash that like button and subscribe. It's free. Why not? So to all the CKB holders out there, good luck. I'm right there with you holding at this time about 125K. Uh, I may add to the bag, though, once we drip down to this 0.0212-ish area if we get there. So that's kind of my game plan personally. But, of course, we need to hold the line, as they say. Have a great day, everyone. We'll catch you guys on the flip side.